So now that the majority of restrictions have been lifted uh, in England, it's a really good idea for businesses to take a step back, evaluate where they are in terms of their response during the pandemic and the way forwards. We know that cases around the region and England are rising um, and we want to make sure that you're supported to make make the decisions that you need to um, to keep your business safe, but also functioning um, as as well as, as can be with, with coronavirus still circulating. One of the ways you can do that is to make sure that your policies and your terms and conditions are up to date. Um, it's a good idea to have a think about what you're asking your patrons and your guests to do. Um, are you hoping to keep any of the restrictions um, in place in your business? For example, face coverings, distance, numbers of people in the setting. It's really important that you consider that and let your patrons and guests know ahead of time. Um, it's it's probably going to elicit more positive reaction uh, from your guests rather than hitting him, hitting them with it when they arrive. Make sure that they're aware um, of what your decisions are. You can legal de legally do that. You can keep some of those restrictions and you can refuse business um, from patrons who don't comply. But what you've got to make sure that you do is you can't discriminate at, um, against anyone who's, um, in terms of those protected characteristics. So just make sure that you're doing that. Stay as up to date as you can. Check the .gov guidance. There's always things changing left, right and center. Um, and just make sure that you're considering um, how you're going to deal with people who may not comply um, when they come to your establishment. Um, think about what happens if you get cases or contacts both in your staff, but among patrons and guests. Um, is there business continuity for your for your setting? I know it's a, it's a real challenge on Silly, um, and so it's, it can often be difficult when you've got staff who need to self-isolate. Um, it's really important that we think about what we're going to do with guests if you have an accommodation, if you are an accommodation provider, for example, if your guests need to self-isolate. Do you have any backup accommodation? We do have the evacuation plan for Sillies, but there's, and, and it's always an option, but we have to risk assess that option. And it's not a guarantee that every time, um, you know, visitors, for example, come to Silly, that they would be evacuated. Um, it depends on the situation. So be thinking about what's the, what's the plan in case you've got people who need to self-isolate. Um, and make sure that you can contact your customers and your patrons easily. Let them know what's going on, that they can contact you. And if you've got any questions or they want some extra support around coronavirus, get in touch with Keep Silly, Silly Safe. We're happy to offer guidance and support. Um, and if you've got any positive cases, we, we will be dealing with that anyway. Really important that if you're symptomatic, you still get that PCR test. You can get it through Keep Silly Safe. If you don't have symptoms, it would be LFT testing, which is available. You can pop into the local pharmacy or workplaces are also accessing tests as well and do those regularly at least two times a week. It's really, really helpful. If you get a positive test, isolate immediately in order that confirmation PCR just to be sure. Um, and then, you know, be in touch with us at Keep Silly Safe. We're, we're happy to help um, and support. And in terms of your businesses, your staff, your business continuity, we can help talk you through some of those things as well. I encourage everyone to keep using the app and I encourage everyone to, if you are eligible as 18 or older, to take up the offer of getting vaccinated. Double jabs are best. Um, and after the 16th of August, those who are double jabbed pending a negative PCR test, um, if you've been named as a contact of a case, you won't have to self-isolate. So there's added benefits to making sure that you've got both of those jabs, in addition to offering the maximum protection possible. If you've got any questions or concerns, we're happy to take those through Keep Silly Safe. And also our environmental health colleagues are happy to answer questions specifically around businesses. All the details are on the council website. So have a look. Um, lots of that information is there. And if you still have questions, please get in touch. Thank you.